I uh, Katahi uh, presentation of annual report and audited consolidated financial statements with Arifuata for Terunanga Nui Onga Tipurau Group uh, for the 2020 2021 financial year. Tiripuata te, te chair, Tiripuata te CEO, Toitu Ngati Pro, Patrick Tangaere Kuia te tia, Ngati Pro Hauora, Ngati Pro Hauka, Kota Robert McLeod te tia, Kuhona Mai Eia Mai te Zoom. Hei Whaiatui Tera, presentation of uh, the five year strategic plan and progress of the annual report of Te Runanga Nui o Ngati Purau. Koe anō rei tiwi, koe nei te kaupapa mō tēnei rangi, a kuni pēnei ka tīmata te hui, koe te noho mai te tēpū, kei te hau mai e tahi atu o te iwi ki roto i te kaupapa nei. Ai, koa ahua rere ke ngā whakaritenga i tēnei tau, i runga i ngā ahua tango tēnei mate korona, kia whakawhiti atu ki ngā kōrero e nai nei. Ake Nā huki rā mātou tia ki te roanga o te pō, a tai noa mai ki te tīmatanga o tēnei hui a mātou i tēnei tēnei ata. Kaore mātou e kaha ki te mahi ngā mea pai ki te kaore koe. Tukua mai ki a mātou i roti i tēnei hui he ngā kau e whakaaro ana e mahi ana i ngā mea tika. Kia rite ai a mātou mahi katoa ki tāu e pai ai, kia pai ai a mātou mahi ki tau te tiro. Tukua mai ki a mātou tau māramatanga me te māramatanga no hoki o tōhu wairua tapu. Me te tukua mai anō hoki kia mātou, te tō mairangi o tau aroha. Kia noho tūwhera tunu i tia mai kia mātou ngā kuaha o te pono te tika te māramatanga me te tika. Ka inoa tunei mātou ki a koe e pā. Kia reka ngā kōrero i tēnei rā pēnei te miere i humai tia kia mātou tō mātou tomotanga i te tatau i tēnei ata. E nei inoa i ka tukua tunei ki a koe e pā i runga i tēngo o i hukraiti tō mātou piringa tō mātou kaha. Kororia ki tau i ngoa tapu. Āmine. Te atua ko ia ne o kura kura pai. Koe nora koe te karaki hei te mata mai te kui ko Patrick Tangai te ira e karaki ana ati nei wangi te koe te te hime nei ruia mai ngā pura pura pai.
no rahi tanu mai te iwi a kuni karongo i ngā kōrero a ata tia mana a haere wini parata Hoi no ra Ngāti Purau e takatū nei i te ao tātou kei te tini o Purau ngā meo koutou kei runga i arangi tā waia i roto i o koutou kainga ngā meo tātou kei rā wahi ngā meo tātou kei o tātou marae i te wākainga tēnei te mihi atu ki a koutou Tēnā koe Patrick i tā tātou kara ki e te ata nei O ti rā Tēnā tātou I o tātou mate e hikama E kore ari karika tēnā me te mate O te maunga tapu o hikurangi Ngā mea kai te kāinga Ngā mea kai te whenua No da ira ko te kororo mō rātou Ho atu Aku nui, aku rahi, aku whakamataku Ki te ao o te wahangu tanga o te tangata, ki te pūtahi tango o rehua ki te huinga o te kahurangi. Koutou te hunga mate ki a koutou, tātou te hunga ora nei, e hono nei i tā tātou hui a tau, i tēnei tau, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou, te ora tātou katoa. Te ora tātou i roto i ngā whakamātou tau o te wā. E ari te mea ki a tātou anake, engari... Ki te ao, ko tātou e nohake nei i te wākainga, e whakāhuru nei i o tātou whānau, i o tātou marae, e tia ki nei i o tātou whakapapa, e mihi ana kia koutou kia tātou. Kā re e kōrero ke atu, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou, te ora tātou katoa. Ka huki nei au ki te tai rā piti e taki ana au i te papatipu o horau ta wānanga, horau ta whanau, ngā whakama tonu atu ki tiki rau, ngā waka uma te kura a mahina, ka hana tu taku tira mātakutai. Kei pāta ngā tahu moana kotore, kei mani aroa e kuri pāka nā ue tuhi ao e roha mai rā. Ka wehe apa nui, ka wehe aporau, kei te kawa kawa mai tawhiti ko te whanaua. Tu whakairi ora kei wai apu, te tainga o te riu o horauta, ko te iwi te nanga tiporau. Tātara e maru ana, maunga hikurangi te iri ngā waka o mawi tiki tiki te maunga pū. Ngā tā i te tai whakamate aru a tapu whakatau ki a te kani a takirau he maunga tū tonu mai o nga mata tona mana tuku i hono tu a whakarere te ahi kāro a nā ue pōhatu te itanga a mate te umu a riki e ka huki nei au ki te tai Tēra whiti ka huri au ki tā whiti a paua ko te whanaua Iri te kura kei marotiri kei tua tini ko te whanaua Rua tau pare kei manga tuna kei uaua E ko te aitanga hauiti kei te roto Tahe ko te whiro nui e tani whamai rā hapai ke Ka huki nei au ki te tae rā piti kei whanga rā Mai ta fiti ko te wā tēnā Ki a hine mati o lo whakamau tonu ki Utonu ki te toka a tai au 
Kotea itanga amaha ki korongo whakata ko kahungunu Whakatau ki te ai ka tere raua Ka tere pipi whakao tēna Ona tohu tēna Ona mana ko mana waru Arai te uru ko pipi tae ari tōna te pua kau Takutira te kuri a paua ki a ta Ki a rua pani ko te ni aora o ngā waka nei Ko ki ti mu ki te tonga horau ta wana ngā meo na feu e ka hapo po ti ara E takoto i te repo te muri wai Horau ta wana ngā meo na feu e Tu atura ki te taira fiti Ka puta te mauri ki te whae ao Ki te ao marama e Nō reira e aku tuākana, tuāhine Aku mātua, aku tīpuna Me a tātou tamariki mokopuna Tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou Te ora tātou katoa Nau mai Tau mai ki tā tātau hui. Koe rā heriwini parata, tia ma nō tiru nā mele wio ngāti parau. A i tēnei wā ki te tiro haere ki te wātaka motarangi nei. Ka hunduku tātau ki te wahanga mō ngā whakawhaha, mō ngā mea e kāre tai te hala mai ki tā tātau hui. Koe rā te wā e te tohia mai e rāo ngā iwa. Kei konei e tahi. Koe e nōra ki te tono mai ngā ingoa ngā tānga ta kāri tai mai ki te hui tarangi nei. Tēnā pē, ka tīmata mai ki te karangati atu i tahi o ngā ingoa ngā tānga ta. Tūn tangohau, tēnā katukunu ki a re mane pānui ngā ingoa. Tēnā tātou. Apologies received to date. Huti Watson, Ruth Chisholm, Cathy Webdale, Matu Farihinga, Queenie Wilcock, Patrick T. Billing, June Carson, Pauline Angel, Rebecca Harper, Mori Tu Wairua, Stu Hedewini, Pamela Butler, Wiki Gilvray, Archie Gilvray, Robina Taumanu Akuhata, Bruce Rogers, Matere Kornia, Elaine Fayora Dews, Hawiti. Karen Hollis, Kara Lee Pewairangi, Kathleen Faitiri, James Faitiri, Kath Faitiri, Jimmy Faitiri, Hekia Parata, Norman Parata, Maraki Parata, Nori Parata, Sina Sini Tuwairua, Toho Kamo, Raihani Afano, thank you, Na, Florence Tuhaka King, Haley Tuhaka, Robin Smith, Kathy Keelan, Egypt Keelan, Elijah Savage, Kobe Te Pairi, Lawrence Sadlier, Teresa Sadlier, Helena Markiri, Matia McGee, Hine Wilcox, Pat Maraki, Merle Pewairangi, Anne Huriwai, Ned Tibble, Trudy Lewis, Tui Womanhoven, Maraika Womanhoven. Okay, my way e mō tini ngā apologies. Thank you. Amo, koe hei tau tōpa. Tūkton Kolia. Ngā mea whakai ana, whakai, whakakāhore, kai te tau tōpa katoa tātou. Just tai hoa mō te tahi wāpoto, tēnā pēa e tahi tāngata kai te hono mai i runga i te rangi tā waia. E runga tūne ngā āhua tango tamā te kōwhiro te kaumā iwa He mea houti nei te tuku te hui nei mā te ipurangi ki a nei a heriwini wa te rangi tāwaia Ai, ki taku nei mōhi o ko tahi rau anake ngā tāngata i whakai anake tēnei whare nei Hei kona mā tētahi o te hunga hokuake e rā te koi koi ngā 
o tō tātou runanga nui. Uh, I raro i te karangatanga o, o ngā pau, e rima, o te whānau, o te mātauranga, o te whairawa, o te kaitiaki uh, tātou hoki ki a rangatira. Uh, ko te takapau o ngā pau, uh, ko te reo o tātou mātua tīpuna, te reo o te maunga e tū mai rā, uh, te reo o ngā tiprau me ona tikanga. Tuatahi ko te, te wahanga ki te whānau. Uh, tēnei wā ka mihi ki a ngā tiprau hauora. Whakapau wera wera i te tau ko tahake nei, kei te whakapau wera wera tunu i tēnei rā. Uh, ki te wero i o tātou whānau, i o tātou tamariki mokopuna, e hia hia ana kia tango i te kano ārai mate urutā. Nā reira, uh, ka awatu tātou e pōkai kaha nei i te mahi nei. Nā reira e mihi ana uh, ki te Ngāti Prau Hauora. Uh, ko ngā kōrero o te tau kua tahake nei kei roto i te i tā tātou puka puka ātou. Uh, e mihi ana hoki ki te tiamana uh, ki taku tuakana ki a tēpa wawatai me te puari uh, ngā tuahine i a huti Watson, Puketapu, uh, kia Ronda Tibble, me taku tamaiti uh, tuakana taina i a Matt Pavano, uh, mo te whakapau kaha mo tō tātou puari o Ngāti Prau Hauora. Uh, ko makere i tēnei tau, he puari anō uh, kei te whakahaere i tēnei wāhanga o tā tātou Kaupapa, nā reira uh, e tēpa, koutou ko tō puari, e kore e mutu ngā mihi ki a koutou. Uh, as you know, we've been vaccinating for the last seven months. Uh, Karau i mihi ki a Emily, no te mea ko hono mai e ia i runga i te puari uh, hau e kawe nei i ngā āhuatanga o te hauora, ki te taha i a, a māua ko toku tuakana ko rei i runga i te puari hau o Ngāti Prau Hauora mo tēnei wā. Um, those of you that are here today have got a Tuitu Tairawhiti Pānui, which is right up to date uh, about the vaccination uh, that has been carried out in, in Ngāti Prau and Turanga Nui Akiwa. And um, we have been, that Pānui has been going out three times a week for the last four months, informing Ngāti Prau Kei Te Kāinga uh, and everybody else in the Tairawhiti of the sterling work and everything that Ngāti Prau Hauora in this case has been doing. Now we weren't like other parts of the country when we, when we stood up the vaccination, we uh, followed our tuakano te whanau apanui and opened, uh, opened the vaccination process to the whole family. And uh, so a mihi ana kia tātou i tērā. And we're still practicing that. You don't have to make an appointment. So I'm encouraging all you Nāti's that are living in other parts of the country, walk up, arm up, and uh, receive the happy jab. Kia ora. <laughs> I also want to happy, um, <laughs> happy. <laughs> I want to acknowledge the, um, the Hapu and Marae leadership uh, who have supported uh, Fitiki Ngati Pro. And uh, that's right throughout the Rohe. Mai poti ki rua ki toka atayau. So kamihi ya. Ki aku tuahine, aku tuakana, uh, e takatū nei i roto i ngā malama, oh, me penei tau i roto i te tekau mā waru malama ko tāhake nei, mai i te tīmatatanga o te mahi nei. And uh, 
Mutuahang on the Hawara. Let hope be the pandemic. Let collective responsibility be the contagion. And let 100% vaccinated Ngati Pro citizens be our miracle. Uh, kia ora, kia ora tatau, mo te rā wāhanga. Ka hunuku ki te wāhanga o te whānau, whānau ora. Uh, ya tatau, uh, ko, ko tīmata te tahi kaupapa uh, pai uh, i rotu ya tatau, i runga i o tatau malai. Uh, huarahi pai, a whānau-centred malai-based rehabilitation program for people who want to kick the pea habit. The point of difference with this program includes user and his or her whānau navigating their healing and recovery journey together. The program is led by the Te Riu o Waiapu Trust and um, the first program in the financial year that we're recording was held at Rākai Hoya Marae, uh, mihi ana ki te tiwi kaingo Rākai Hoya. Uh, we've had one uh, recently, and at Hinepare, and um, mihi ana ki tiwi kainga o Hinepare mo te rā hotanga. O, oh, te tahi kaupapa, ya tātou e hui ana, kei tutua kei roto pairauta, kei roto i ena kārangaranga o tātou, o te whānau uh, te opare, e... Uh, Te whana, whanau a tama te aupoko, ngai tama koro, a me ngā piringa uh, ki roto o kawakawa mai tawhiti. Uh, kainga ora, i te tau ko tahake nei, uh, Ngāti Pro joined with our Tūranga Iwi to establish uh, Toitu Tairawhiti Housing Limited. We set a target of 500 new or relocatable houses over the next four years. Um, we have started that program. Uh, there are, uh, I think, five um, that are happening now, but they're not in this financial year, and we need. We are probably going to end up with another 25 by the end of this financial year. Um, Toitu Tairawhiti Limited will negotiate government housing investments, shore up affordable housing product supply lines, bulk purchase of building supplies, and coordinate efforts to grow local housing workforce. Prioritizing whānau who are living in overcrowded makeshift accommodation are land ready and have the ability to repay a housing loan. So, titiro ki tēnei wāhanga, e anga whakamua nei tātou i roto i tēnei tau. Kei mui a tātou. Mo te wāhanga o te mātou ranga, Toitū Ngāti Pro paid out education grants totaling 174,000. 153 Ngāti Pro students received grants of 500 or 2,000. And the list of those names are in your annual report. I think um, in the front or the back of the book, depending on where you see the book and how it lies. 100% increase from previous year. It's pleasing to note that Nazis are most active in the fields of science, medicine, nursing, and health science. So, kwere te ia o ngā tāngata i tono mai me kore te tahi āwhina mai i tō tātou rūnanga hei waha i a rātou i roto i tō o rātou huarahi mā tauranga. I roto i ngā tau kwa tahake nei, ko whakatūngia e pākihi roa, e tahi karahipi, e toru ngā karahipi i runga i roto i te ingoa o te pāpā nei a apirana mahuika, i a Scarlet Poi, me koro Jews. Uh, so, kei kona e o wakari karahipi, ngā meo tātou e hie hiena kia whai, whai te huarahi o te ahu whenua, o te mahi pāmu, uh, kei kona e tahi karahipi hei tonotanga mā koutou. Other scholarship 
partners include Victoria University, uh, the EIT here in Turanga and on the East Coast, and our, our joint educational uh, project, Maru Whakatipua, uh, which is a uh, education uh, program with our Tuakana Taina of Ngaitama Nuhiri Rongo Whakata and Jaitanga Mahaki. Me o tātou rahi o Jaitanga Hawiti. Ka nuku tātou ki te wahanga o te kaitiaki. E tikana ko taku tuakana ko ti ne pānui e nei kōrero. Hoi anō, kāri tāi ai te haramai ki tā tātou hui i tēnei wā, nā reira awa ka whakaki au te wahanga ki aia. Mō te taku tai, o tātou hapu that received confirmation of titles for their taku tai moana from the Crown have been working hard and on building capacity and capability to manage their taku tai roles and responsibilities. Fisheries regulations and the Runangas provided back office support for the existing six hapu trusts. And I want to um, give a shout out to our hapu trustees um, for their sterling work. And uh, we've got timetables and things that need to be met. I know we're busy and things get done with busy people. So I'm in inviting our trustees to get on with their uh, kaupapa with the Fano about building capacity and capability um, and fisheries regulations. Kia noho ora tātou, kia noho mohi o tātou, e anga pehena tātou mo te wahanga ki ngā taku tai moana. Kāri koa tu kāri koa mai. Te tahi anō o ngā kaupapa nui nui rawātu i roto i a tātou ko te whakaora i te raukumara. Nā kona, ko te raukumara kei runga i te i tā tātou pukapuka o tēnei tau. Hoi anō, ka tukuna tēnā te wahanga ki taku tuakana pāpā ki a rei, māna tēnā āhuatanga e kōro. Tēnā anō tātou. Last hui a tau, we spoke about the Raukumara Restoration Project. At that point, we had not recently um, we see confirmation that 34 million had been made available for the project, a four year term. Um, that's, we'll need a lot more than that, but that's a start and it's a good start. And so for the last year or so, um, Whanau Apanui, Ngati Pro, uh, together with um, the Crown in the form of the Department of Conservation, have been working with our people, with scientists, with experts, to develop the plan uh, to make sure that we can make a good um, go of stopping the decline of the um, Rokumara forest and, and starting the rebuild and to bring back bird life, animal life, trees, and stabilize the, um, the environment. Um, so this past year has been mainly spent on planning. There's been a bit of uh, uh, activity with uh, deer, uh, deer culling, not hunting, deer culling. Um, and that's been uh, some testing work with helicopters and thermo, thermal imaging uh, work. Um, it seems to be successful. It's not cheap, but it's effective. Um, so we're at a point now where we have a general manager in the form of uh, Jade King Hazel, who does have a Ngati Whakapapa, but other Whakapapas, and she's based out of Whakatane. She's also in Ngati Awa. Uh, and we have three positions that are uh, about to be recruited, uh, operational managers, and then under that are a number of other um, positions. Um, all up, this project will produce 42 full-time equivalent uh, jobs, uh, and we've we started that process now with, with the um, managers and being appointed. Um, so in the new year, uh, work on a whole range of uh, 
of, of matters because we've had six work streams developing six separate plans that have just recently been incorporated into an overall integrated plan. And um, but they, we still have a, a focus on six different areas. Um, uh, I won't go into the detail, but they're all part of the overall plan and work on those uh, aspects of the plan will begin in the new year. I'll leave it there, uh, just to say that we have done a lot of preparation. Um, it's the biggest project of this type, I thought, in the country, but apparently it's in the, in the world. Um, but not so much with the, the, this, the area, but it's the scope of what's being done within the project and the state of our uh, Rokumut environment. So our, gu our guiding principle throughout this, we've had two basically, uh, is to do whatever is best for the Rokumara. In other words, whatever the Rokumara needs, we need to provide it to give it every chance of surviving. The other principle that goes with that is that we will make the best use of the resources available. So it means doing what we need to do, but keeping in mind that we don't have a budget to do um, everything we might want to do, or things that take a, a period of time and may cost more. It's urgent, and um, some things have to be done just to give ourselves a breathing space, or give the Rokumara a breathing space. Um, I'll leave it there, there may be some questions later on, so kia ora tata. Thank you, Ray. Um, kei, kei raro tonu tātou i te, te pau o te kaitiaki, uh, mo te taiao, e toru ngā kaupapa i pupuri I roto i te tau ko nei, progressing the uh, Waiapu JMA and i, I harapa tēnā kaupapa i te tīmata tanga. Engari, uh, kai te harakuku i tēnei wā, a tāria te wā, uh, ka hoki anō tātou ki te harapa. Uh, Ahoa pera te, te Waiapu i te Raukumara, uh, he nui ngā kaupapa hei whakaora uh, i a Waiapu uh, me, me te me ngā Hononga ki te awa waiapu. The RMA reforms, well, they've been in the government, on the government eyes uh, for the last, well, since the new government took, took uh, up office last year. Replacing the uh, resource management reforms with three new acts, Natural and Built Environment Act, the Strategic Planning Act, Climate Change Adaptation Act. Um, you need eyes in the back of your ears, the back of your head to keep up with all what's happening, but we're trying our best. Uh, the other one that's Kairunga i te o te wā right now, ngā, ngā wai e toru. Three water reforms, proposal to establish four new entities to manage and deliver drinking water, waste water and storm water. Thus, moving these roles away from local councils. Ngati Pro is collectivizing our approach through uh, Otato Tuakana Taina o te Tairafiti, Tatu Hokiki te Hunga e noho nei, uh, Iroto i te Tairafiti Tahito. Mai, uh, mai Potikirua heke heke ki roto o Turanga, Taurawatu ki roto Ngati Kahungunu. Uh, ki te upokoteika, uh, ko wāwahi te kāwana tanga kia, kia whā ngā, ngā wehenga o Aotearoa nei. Uh, ko tātou kei roto i te Rōpū si, mataku te kāwana tanga te tapaina he ingoa ki runga i taua, taua kā, kaupapa, hoi anō, kei te hui hui ngā karanga maha o roto o tēnā uh, Unit C. Uh, ki te tuku te tahi, e tahi āhuatanga e tia haere nei te kāwanatanga i roto i tēnei kaupapa. The priority, as always, is uh, to ensure our whānau have access to safe, clean drinking water. And the rest follow. And um, Ngāti Pro continue to have a strong voice in driving the policy reform. Nei anō te tahi āhuatanga ngā mahi whakarukea tāwhiri mātea, climate change ki e tahi. Ko e noa kei te mōhio tātou, ngā ahuatanga o tāwhiri mātea, 
mate kayaya ona koro kayaya ona wehenga so um, we're future proofing farming operations and land use practices in Ngati Poro, developing a range of strategies to mitigate the impact of climate change, including coordinating planning between Hapu Marae and civil defense emergencies to be better prepared for natural disasters, climate change, and pandemics. That's ongoing. Um, coastal marae and communities will need to start thinking now about relocating to higher ground. Kei te rongo koutou i te ia o ngā kōro, kei runga i ngā pouaka whakata, huri haere i te ao. Nā reira, ko ka tātou tatari ki a tae mai te te ahuatanga ki a tātou ka ohoho. Nei nei te wā mo te whaka ohoho i a tātou. Te whaka kaupapa e anga pehe ana tātou i roto i ngā taumu. Kei mui a tātou. Ka tahuri ki te pau o te whairawa. A presentation on the group's performance regarding whairawa will be covered in the Ngāti Pro Holding Company report by uh, our new chairman, Sir Robert McLeod, and uh, our CEO, uh, Shane Walker. I, I would like to, at this juncture, acknowledge the former chair, Matanuku Mahuika, and former director, Kristen Kohere Suta, for their leadership and contribution uh, to Ngāti Pro uh, over the last eight, eight or nine years. So, um, yeah. A Matanuku signaled it at the last AGM, but he's had to carry on for a little while into this financial year. So, kwere te take e whakatau nei i aia, me Kristen i roto i tēnei o ngā hui hui ngā tau. Ka hunuku ki te pau rangatira o tātātau rautaki. The Crown Annual Taumata, our Annual Crown Ngāti Pro Taumata and Whakamana Accord for 2021 has been postponed again because we are in the middle of World War III. Um, and I'll leave it at that. Uh, we had the Prime Minister here a couple of days ago. Um, we were able to have a chat about things that are happening in, in, in Ngāti Pro, but um, we hope to get our taumata and our whakamana accord back on track early next year in the calendar year. Um, the Rautipu Rauora Regional Leadership our group comprises of the four Tairawhiti Iwi Chairs, the Mayor of the Gisborne District Council, Trust Tairawhiti, Hauora Tairawhiti Eastland Group Limited, and EIT. And um, we're charged with overseeing the implementation of the Tairawhiti COVID-19 response and re recovery plan with, with a lot of discussion and talk emanating from our hapu leadership across Ngati Pro. And uh, so it's bottom up, top down, and mate mahi ngā tahi kau ngā kaupapa ki tahaki, ki a ora i tātou, ki a tae e tātou ti tia ki i te ahi kā, tuku heke mai i o tātou mātua i o tātou tīpuna, mai i pōti ki rua ki te toka a tai au. Mo tērā āhotanga. Mo te kaupapa Māori wards. And we supported the proposal to establish five Māori wards and eight general wards as an interim position. Um, our ultimate objective is to achieve 50% representation on the council and the establishment of mana whenua seats. Koe ra te whāinga, hoia no tāria te wā, Ka anga pēhea tātou i roto i tēnei āhuatanga. Ka taurawa mai ki ngā piuta o tō tātou runanga. Detailed financials are covered in later part of the annual report. But in short, 
The Runanga Nuyong Ati Pro Group achieved a net profit of 24.11 million for the year ending the 30th of June 2021. Increase in our net group earnings after tax by approximately 20.29 million. An increase in net returns on assets by 6.9% and increase groups total assets by 27.1 million on the previous financial year. And the whole new tanga ko konga miti taihua ma ma wain e kalo wala wai te aho tanga hai perai hai penei na de da koe da te aho tanga mo te nei wa kare koro kia tu uh, Yaku Rangatira, uh, where no, the Mihi Kia Koto, uh, Iroto Yokoto Kainga, Kiano Homaru Koto, Iroto Yokoto Kainga, um, Koti out the Mihi Kite outgoing chairperson of uh, Nati Pro Ho or Me Me on a Hoa Irung at Pori, uh, Mihi and the Hoki Kite King Akayarahi. Ao tato hapu, ao tato malai, ita wa kainga. Tai atu hoki ki te hunga e pupuri nei ita ha o ngati pro ki roto i o tato tora here puta noa ita motu. Na itera tau hui a tau i i fakara te koro ke ke huri rau na matau te runanga ki te kore ro ro ki o tato rahi. Uh, kei ngā taura here o te motu. O tei a i tarai te, te tīmata i tērā mahi, i eke tēnā o ngā karangatanga i roto i o tātou rahi uh, e noho atu ki roto o kirikiri roa o Waikato. E, uh, ka tau anō mai te te aukati o te mate uru tā, uh, ka re tai a matau te huri haere ki te whenua, hoi anō tērā, tērā pea a te tau e tū mai nei, Ka fitiki, ka huki anō, uh, ki te toro toro o tātou whanaunga kei te whenua e noho ana. Nā reira, eka mā, meri krihi mete, mete hape niu ia, kia tau te ia o te Māori kia tātou katoa. Uh, kua mutu te wāhanga ki au, and uh, i mua te, te, tīmata, te, te tīmata tanga o tō tātou uh, kai hautu, uh, Ki taku taina ki a George, a e mihi ana ki aia, uh, uh, ko hono mai nei. And uh, I'll invite us to sing um, Uncle Koro's favorite song. Te wiwi nati no pora rangi. Koera te ripoata, kia mana, heri wini parata, a muri te waia tenei te wiwi nati te ronga ti no waia ta Uncle Koro. Uh, ko te ripoata, te kai hautu a George Reedy. Now, for those of you that are on Zoom or listening to the radio or on the live stream, you'll notice that the words Tsukahuki Neo are right throughout the book, and there's a few pictures there that um, join the words. We are now at Kahurio Kitafiti Apawa Kitefano Airi Tikura. I don't think that that book a book a cut to go na kia koe George. Oh, kia ora da. Tēnā koutou katoa, ko hoki nei au ki te kainga. Coming home, kia ora. Hey. Look, um... I suppose it's been a long time coming for me to come home, uh, but I do want to acknowledge the strong foundations I've found since I've arrived. 
there's, um, well, firstly, he survived COVID-19, the introduction of it last year in a good way, supported our communities, and as the chair's already talked about, we've got a reasonably good um, financial result. Puts us in a strong position to go forward, and that's the key to what we're working on today. The um, mentioned the 24 million surplus, but our net worth is up around just over a quarter of a million, 256 um, million. That is brilliant. Yeah, that's great work. Congratulations to the team that have created all this. Um, so yeah, Kia ora. I, I think one of the things that's missing often out of the conversations, though, is that um, the work that we do in our community puts $17 million worth of salaries through our families back into our communities as well. So congratulations. You know, that's a really important statistic because we're doing, not only are we doing good work, but we're also providing jobs for our whanau. So kia ora. Um, 400 staff employed, and all of those things are the good things. But like all good things, there are some um, yeah, not so good things that we need to look at. We need to take a hard look at what's happening in our communities. So our stats in health, home ownership, employment, education, incarceration, and tamariki and care, they're not so good. So our plan over the next, um, well, next 12 months is to work on building the foundations internally so that we can actually start to do better work for our community. Um, whanau and whanau wellbeing needs to be at the centre of everything we do. So going forward, that's what we're targeting. Now, I'm only focusing on the whanau, what I call the whanau service component of our um, organisation. At this point in time, well, last year they were all separate and parts of, um, you know, in different parts of the organisation. You can see by the diagram there, health, um, Ngāti Pro Hauora, we've got Whānau Ora, which is sitting out in um, Horauta Whānau Collective. Our social and, and Mātauranga was probably the only entity sitting under Trump Nui, and housing is new, it's fledgling. We haven't got a lot of uh, resource in that space, we're not doing a lot of work. As, I can, as I've said, putting that Whānau lens in the middle of everything we do. I'm just highlighting what we're working on. Kāpai? As I said, health under Ngāti Pro Ho Water, that gets covered off later. I just want to cover off a couple of key stats in this area. The social space, about 1,500 whānau have been supported through our services. That includes about 1,000 home visits. Housing, we've provided um, access to long-term housing solutions and a bit of social housing, some transitional housing. If, if you think of transitional, it's just they've got nowhere to go. So it's some way short-term for them to uh, be able to um, put a roof over their head. But as the chair's mentioned, Toy 2 Tairawhiti Housing Limited, um, we're building 23, well, the company's building 23 homes. Quite a few of those are over in Upper Nui at the moment. We've got five going up and uh, mostly down around Rangitukia. Um, but plans for 90 more, and we have ambitions of doing 500 homes in the Tairawhiti. Of those, the majority will be in uh, Ngāti Pura. The other part, the other key part is our final water collective is, is strong. Um, doing that great work, walking, beside our whānau, helping them lift themselves. Because the key to that is not to do it for them because they become dependent on us rather than dependent on the state. So we're working in that way with our whānau in that space. That's what I call the whānau services. A lot of reference to Tatara e Maruana, uh, Hoake Tawa ki Waipu, ki Tatara e Maruana. Let's go to Waipu where the rain cape is thick. It's, uh, it's the approach we're going to take is to try and consolidate all of our services under one Tatara. Um, to date, things, you know, we've, we've had to be nimble and agile and um, move quickly. 
but what it has created is little pieces of uh, good work all over the place. What we need to do is bring most of that together so we can help grow those little um, gems into something larger. What we're looking to do is unite our organisation in purpose and vision and um, so we can do better with our resources. At least it's working. Kapai. So what we're looking at is um, working in one organisation. We're going to create one entity that will hold all of our whānau services within it. So the new entity will carry out the work including Hauwara, our um, Trompnui Social and Mātauranga services, our whānau water, and it will also hold our corporate chaired services. Most staff will work for this new entity and they will operate from um, either this building to Tini Opero or Ruatoria. And the two main sites, we need to upgrade um, this uh, building, it's showing its age, um, but the Ruatoria building unfortunately is probably, um, it, it needs something more. So um, we will be putting in a new building in Ruatoria. So we're working on that already. Kia ora. And on that good note, I don't want to add any more, which might... Um, <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you. And um, just leave it at that. Short report, but enough to give you some indication of where we're going uh, in the near future. Kia ora da. No te pipi faraua e karanga ana mai hero mati hero mati e. Thank you. Fiti te oro waru fio, fiti fiti te oro waru fio. Owe fio, he owe owe he. Tenatato, te pipi faraua me te hoa rire rire. Katukuna te ne wahanga ki te te mana o toitu ngati pro uh, kia Patrick. あ、こんにちは、みんなでが、あれ、はんがいとのぎ、いとこリポートいてね。いてねやた。な、がいろといがぽこぽかね。え、テリポートあといと。えがりわれわれやうてみやときがめもてぽわりいちゅうあいむ
engari na te COVID kare e tae e mata me te rere huki o te wā, te re te haere te haere o ngā hārapa haere nei ngā wiki. Engari a tōna wā, ka huri haere te, uh, te rōpū toitū ki tēnā rohe, ki tēnā rohe, ki te whakarongo uh, ki o koutou whakaaro, uh, me kore pē e tae e mātou te, te, te whakatutuki. Nā, ko kōrero a Shawen, kāre ko atu, kāre ko mai, nā reira kā mea tu, kā mea au, kāre tu atu, kāre tu a mai. Tēnā koutou, tēnā tātā. Kāre aku wai atā. Ā, oh, engari, engari, mena pēnei rawa te poto, o ngā rī poata a ngā poari e whai mai, ne? Ah, he tauera tēne, ka, ka wawe te mutu tata tau hui. Me mutu i runga i te hari koa, te hapi e kore rone a Shawen. Kia ora tātou. Ko te Patrick Tangaere, te tia mano toi tū. Te roanga o tā tātou hui, a ka whaiwhakaro e mo te tahi waiata. Mo ana koro, hei kīnaki, e ana koro, me ngā koro, o ngā mea kei te whai mai. Tēnei wā, ka tukuna ki te wahanga o Ngāti Prou Holding Company, ki tō tātou Ki taku tuakana kia Robert McLeod. Uh, uh, kua, kua here ei a i roto o Tāmaki Makaurau. Uh, me Shane uh, Hueno. Kia ora. Kei te hono mai a Robert. Yep. Kei te whae mai ko te ripo a te, te Ngāti Prou Holdkau. Uh, Kei te hono mai a Sir Robert McLeod. Mā te ipurangi ki te hui nei. Tā o tahi ko Shane Walker. Ma te penei, ma te ki te ki te, he tohu whakapai, he akoranga e, e te iwi e. Ma te penei, ma te ki te ki te, he tohu noa, te piritahi e, te rongo mau e. Nā, haere mai rā tātou ki te āwhina e i te rōpū o porourangi e karanga nei e mihi atu nei Kia ora rā. Hoi anō, kai a koe te wā, Robert, tēnā koe, e hono mai nei. Kia ora. He's not opening, he's not talking. I'm not sure whether the committee can hear me. You can all, okay, there's a few thumbs up, so my voice seems to be carrying. Um, so if we bring up the slides, um, we should be able to bring up some slides. Koe noa kei te whakari te, te whakaturanga Sir Robert McLeary i tēnei wā. Uh, Koe ia kei te here ki roto tāma ki makaura i runga tūru te ngā huatanga o te mate korauna. Nō no reira, uh, kuni i pēka tīmata mai e ki te whakamāra mai tāna whakaturanga ki te iwi. Uh, Koe rahoki te kōro i mua. Koe nei te hui tuatahi i tuku pēnei atu nei. Uh, Nō no reira, he taui rana te katoa me pē he te whakahaere he hui pēnei uh, mā te ipurangi. Koe nōra kei te, kei te tātari mai te iwi ki te tīmata mai tāna kōraro. Ha, koe ni pēka tīmata. Can you hear us? Ha, koe ni pēka tīmata. Can you hear us? Ha, koe ni pēka tīmata. Ha, koe ni pēka tīmata. 
Sir Robert uh, McLeod. Ah, te nā pēhei te e kei te raru raru te noho ki waeanga nui a tāme ki makauru i tēnei wā. Koe a nō rā, koe rahu ki te pāta i tēnei wā, kei rei rā koe, hika, ka reputa mahi kōraro. Koe a nō rā te iwi te rangi nei ko whakarongo nei e tahi o ngā kōra mo ngā mahi ko mahi te rūnanga nui. Ko te tahi o ngā kaupapa pai ko ronga nā e au ko te ngā kōraro mo te ngā whare. Ko te tūmana ko ia ki a rima rau ngā whare ka hangaia ki te tai rāwhiti a te tū taui tū mai nei. Hei kāinga noho mā te iwi e noho kore kāinga nei tēnei wā. Nō reira. Ai, te ahua nei e paku wā whakatā. E te haere weta i te kapu tī. O haere te iwi ki te kai. Hika, ko mātou ki tēnā ki tēnei tēpū. Kai ingu, hea oe nei. Hauiti blueberries. Hauiti blueberries. Hei, da leka hoki. Tō tātou wai mari, te mea i tērā tau kāre te live stream i ea, ne, raru raru te ipurangi. Ki tō moka Kingston, ki roto matakawa. Ki roto matakawa. E hara i te fake news tērā. Engari, ai, kei te taone mātou i tēnei rā nā reira. E pai ana tēpū, au, au, pai ana tā mātou i purangi kāre au te mōhio mo tēpūrangi ki tāmaki. Ano reira kei te kōra mai a Sir Robert i tēnei wā, engari. Ko haere ki te iwi ki te kai. Kuni pia tātou ka tīmata, ne? Ane, so Robert McLeod. But I have them with me, so I will... I will talk to the slides on behalf of the holding company and um, I will assume that the, the audience has the relevant material to support my presentation. So, um, kia ora tato. So, on the first slide, you'll see a number of, of summary points that my slides will... Uh, did he drop off it when you share that? Kei te raru rau to hono tanga atu ki a si Robert i tāma ki makaurau anō. Hoi anō, koe raho ki tētahi o ngā ahua tanga mena ki te whakahaere hau pēnei he hui tēnō haurau atu ki a tātou. Nō reire tēnei wā ki te hoki kaki mai te iwi ki o rā tū nei tūru ki te whakarongo ki ngā kōre, ngā re, ko ngā rota tangata. Ai, o tira e mihi ana kia koutou kua hono mai ki tēnei whakapao hotanga mā te ipurangi, mā te pukamata, mā runga reo irirangi rānei Ai, he rangi āta hua ki konei ki tūranga nui ākiwa rangi pai mō te hui hui mō te wānanga i ngā tini take o te wā I'm back on, but the radio people keep talking across the top of me <laughs> We're having a few technical problems, folks, but hopefully I'm back online. Um, as I Good, OK. Well, as I mentioned, we have the year in review and there's 12 slides to come through, so I'll try and, um, and uh, come through these reasonably quickly. I think that the first uh, thing that I'd like to acknowledge really is the passing of, of Willie Carr, which was a very sad event in March of this year. Um, as many of you will know, Willie was instrumental in establishing our Ngāti Parau Manuka business. He was the driving force behind the honey extraction facility, which we are soon to open in Te Araroa. Um, we're obviously very grateful to Willie for the staunch leadership that he, he presented for us in this part of our business. He did work tirelessly. And obviously he was very challenged um, and was battling uh, a long fought battle with cancer. So rest in peace, uh, Willie, and uh, mihi to uh, Bella and, uh, and his whānau for sharing Willie with us and for bringing him home to Ngāti Parau to uh, kick off our Ngāti Parau Manuka business. Just in terms of, of other, strategy, uh, other acknowledgements, as the chairman has said, um, we uh, had a change of chairman actually from 1 April this year. Matanaku uh, Mahuika was the uh, inaugural chairman and was in that role from the beginning for over 12 years uh, and obviously did a very sterling job. And um, indeed, I think the incumbent directors today uh, have inherited the work uh, of our predecessors. So thank you very much to Matanaku on behalf of Holdco. 
Um, also an acknowledgement of Kristen Kohere Suta, who also served for a nine year uh, period on the board and uh, gave a sterling effort and contribution to bring us to where we are today. Also, I'd uh, like to acknowledge uh, John Hockey, who uh, spent seven years in the company as the general manager of the business development um, and uh, made a substantial contribution to moving the company uh, on uh, from where it was when he started. So uh, I think it's very op uh, opportune to thank John for his efforts. Um, we've had uh, some changes, new, new directors have come on, uh, Henare Walker, and myself joined the board uh, on 1 January this year. Um, and as I say, the change in the chairmanship occurred on the 1st of April. Um, I'm also pleased to say that we have um, the benefit of Ngārangi Bidwa uh, uh, as an, uh, sort of an adjunct uh, director or an associate director, which is the inaugural um, position uh, that we've uh, created in the company this year. So it's great to have Ngārangi on board. And uh, one of the purposes there, obviously, is to provide a mechanism to um, provide emerging directors um, in Ngāti Pirau the opportunity to develop and to learn the ropes, so to speak, in governance uh, of these companies. So it's a great, uh, I think, a great opportunity for training and development of, uh, of emerging directors and we're privileged to have Ngārangi as part of the team. If I just come on now to the next slide, which presents to you the, the organisation structure um, underneath the uh, holding company. You'll see there at the top of the structure we have Ngāti Pirau Holding Company Limited and uh, the companies that are in green are, uh, um, most of them are direct, directly held, shareholder, uh, where the the holding company holds the shares directly. You can see there's uh, quite a number of those companies. Um, and then the grey uh, boxes are companies which we don't own 100% of. We own uh, a percentage of, and those percentages are marked there on the slide. So you can see this um, in, in the report and um, it can give you an idea of structurally how we are organised. You will also see on that chart uh, the total assets of the consolidated holding company is 267.1 million, and that is up from 244.3 million um, a year ago. Um, so again, very good, good results, good growth, um, and good, good progress. Just to share with you some of the key metrics um, of the performance of the holding company, the commercial company. Um, and again, these are consolidated results, which effectively add up the numbers of all of those um, companies that were mentioned on the previous slide. So the group, the group revenue um, was 38 million, and um, that was up from 21 million in the prior year. So that that represented quite good growth in revenue. Um, the group expenses, you can see, there were 13.4 million. And um, that was uh, slightly down, actually, from about 14.6 million in the prior year. So revenue going up and expenses going down makes for a happy profit uh, result. You can see there on the right-hand side, net group earnings were 24.6 million. That's the difference between the 38 and the 13.4. And that 24.6 is up from the prior year. Uh, which was 6.5 million. So that represents quite a substantial uplift. Uh, you can see at the top row, the return on the net assets. The net assets is kind of the, it's the equity of the business. It's the total assets less the debt. So the, the profit uh, as a return on that number is 9.7%, uh, which again, I think is very good. That was up from 2.7% in the prior year. I mentioned the total assets in the prior slide at 267 million which is up from the 2.4 million. In terms of the distribution to our shareholder, uh, the, the uh, Runanga, uh, you can see there that the dividends were 3.35 million. Um, it's important, I think, to add to that the interest that's paid uh, from the holding company to Toy2, which was a change in, in strategy and effectively 
it's an interest payment that um, is made on accumulating prior distributions to Toy 2. They add to 1.65 million. It's a bit of a hybrid animal. Um, from my point of view, I regard it as, as in the nature of a profit distribution, but from an accounting point of view, it's, uh, it's an interest uh, expense item uh, that, that transfers that amount. So in one respect, you can add those two numbers up, the 3.35 and the 1.65 million to give you an idea of the total distributions that were made by the holding company. So that gives you a, 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 an overview of the financial results um, at a high level, and you can get the detail, obviously, in the fuller report that you have. Um, so um, I'm going to ask Shane to just join me in presenting some of the detail on the businesses, and uh, we'll work those through together. And so Shane will tell us about the, the JV with uh, Hoiti and horticulture. Oh, tēnā koe, Rob. Uh, tēnā tātou, ko Shane Walker tōku ingoa, ko te tumu pakarai o te kamupene o Ngāti Pro o Hauko. Um, so first, you just want to thank uh, Hauiti Incorporation for the joint venture that we have with them um, and people are enjoying the blueberries today, which is fantastic. Um, and thank Wayne Amaru as well for his chairmanship of, of, the, of the joint venture also. So, I mean, these are just summary notes of, of the full annual report, so please have a look at that when, if you get a chance. But, I mean, it's been growing quite well uh, in the last few years, and you can see the 20,000 blueberry plants on site. And um, as a consequence of it going so well, then the costs go up, and, and so that surprised us a little bit. Um, and we're readjusting it in the current year at the moment, uh, where ultimately it should start to break even after about another 18 months. So you'll see, um, even today, I see there's a Facebook post where uh, Fano can go and pick blueberries. Uh, so the season on part of the orchard has ended, and, um, and and now it's time to take all that fruit off those off those plants in order to help the plant restore in its health and, and prepare for next year. So uh, if you're heading past the Uawa, and I've heard Maui say we can all go in there, um, there's there's some there's some timings and, and some messages on Facebook to help yourselves to those. Uh, those last um, stock of, of blueberries. We just want to also thank Steve Phelps, the orchard manager. Uh, so he's one of the best in the country and we're really uh, fortunate to have Steve. Uh, he's doing a great job and, um, and a hard job when, when we need labour in certain points of the year. And so there's been lots of pānui across the community, so we're always looking for pickers and whānau that might want to help and also there was a good kōrero with the local kura uh, that might be interested to go and earn some money after school and obviously not disrupt their homework, which is important for the future, as the chairman has said. <coughs> we want scientists as well. Um, and so in, in the next 18 months, like I say, we're, we're looking forward to the growth of this orchard uh, to the point where it's predicted to produce 100 um, tonnes of, of blueberries. Um, so it's pretty big coming out of that four hectares. And, uh, and we're pretty excited. And again, um, we thank Hoati Incorporation for the for the joint venture relationship. Uh, with regard to Ngāti Pro Manuka, I uh, just want to talk about our mihi to to Willie. Uh, Willie was um, instrumental, and he drove really hard to get this business up and running for us. So, uh, you know, these are 30 June numbers, and, um, and and we lost Willie in March. So he worked tirelessly right up to the end. Um, and so, you know, Matiatu he titikura, Ramai he titikura, and so as a consequence, um, we've got Trent Profit in there leading our business now and doing a great job. And um, so, 41 tonnes was our harvest in, in December and into early January. And so, that's all being banked away in drums and, and growing the UMF so that we can find the right markets to sell it and make money. But the goal here is to grow up to 3,000 hives or an equivalent of that. And we have nine employees in Rangitukia at the moment. So you can see we're looking for 10, so we're open for opportunities um, for one more and maybe a couple more as the business grows. So we're, we're really looking at that extraction facility up in Te Araro and acknowledge the partnership with Pōhutu as well. Um, so, so it's been built on Pōhutu's land and, and we're in agreement and got a, got a partnership with them in order to get this extraction facility up and running. That's going to add sustainability to our business because the challenges of trying to get your honey extracted and other people's whare uh, doesn't work so well for us. Uh, the honey gets left outside in the sun and the rain and uh, gets processed um, based on their timings whereas we get to control this and so that will be open in, in a few months and be ready for next year. 
um, as like I say, part of building sustainable business rather than relying on, on other people. So um, just want to thank you all Ngāti Pro Manuka team. They're really busy at the moment. Uh, the flowers are getting closer and closer and so we're fortunate that they're on site in Rangitukia amongst all of the whenua and can, um, can react and respond uh, to the, to the Ngāhere in terms of the season and the variance of the changes up there. So kia ora koutou and I'll hand the rako back to Sir Rob. Got a shame. Uh, so the, the next um, uh, business segment that's on the slides is tourism. And, um, as you uh, will understand, COVID-19 has been quite impactful on this sector, not only for us, but obviously uh, for everybody, including Aotearoa and the rest of the world. So um, we've got to um, uh, sort of reposition ourselves uh, and look to the aftermath of, of COVID in this regard. It's fair to say that, uh, that we're very positive about this sector. We think that really it's highly relevant to the development of Ngāti Pro across the many, many years ahead, uh, and we should be taking really that long-term as well as that medium and short-term perspective to it. Um, it's a business that we can both operate, I think, at both the centralised, you know, at, at, at almost... Um, at Fano levels as well as at an aggregated level. So I think the holding company, you know, needs to focus on attacking the opportunities here at all levels, not at just one level. And also it's a multi-stakeholder game. We are working with regional tourism operators to um, work on the, the attraction of visitors to the East Coast, and we will continue to do that. Um, as we come out of the traffic light system, um, that will basically be the next uh, major milestone for the opening up of opportunities uh, in, in the sector. So uh, back to Shane on, on forests. Kia ora. So just, just for context, um, 25,000 hectares of land was, uh, well, was purchased as part of the settlement. And, and so we've had 6,600 hectares of that land returned. So what happens is uh, Earns Law 1, has they, they own the trees, and as they cut those trees, we plant your trees in behind them. And so we've, we've planted, uh, well, 5,400 hectares of trees uh, on that 6,600 hectares of land. So you can see that remaining bits of land are, are the setbacks that we're applying from the waterways and other areas that are too steep to plant that we don't think um, should be planted in pine and therefore can't be harvested or will create greater erosion challenges. Um, so at the moment, with um, six years of planting, we don't have any harvesting operations inside of our or your Ngāti Pro uh, whole co business. And, um, and, and we want to thank Ngāti Pro Whānui Forest Limited as well. So they're our contracted forest uh, provider and they do all the planting and the management of the forest for us at the moment. So we've signed off our strategy in the, in the past year and that is to really consider these, these values of Ngāti Pro to ensure that we do the best by the whenua and the ngāhere and also um, we've doubled our setbacks. So uh, we're required to make sure we don't plant a pine tree within 10 metres of any uh, substantial waterway. Uh, within our strategy, we've doubled that to 20 metres to make sure actually we create a larger buffer, um, not just for the waterways, but for the birds as well, eh? and, um, and ultimately the Ngāhere will, will take care of itself. Kia ora, Rob. Thank you. Just the next business segment, uh, which is very important, is the uh, seafoods group. Um, over the last 18 months, there's been quite a um, heavy focus on restructuring its governance and um, also on just revisiting its, uh, its strategy. Uh, we remain very positive and optimistic about this business, and um, but we do need to be nimble and we need to be um, structurally relevant to the you know the ongoing market opportunities. Um, so there has been that strategic refresh that we've been uh, undertaking. The operating results at this point are below our budgeted target. That's an impetus for the reform to get the business result and the business performing better. Um, we, uh, as you may know, we have uh, the Ahia Smoke Fish uh, Program, which is the My Food yeah. Supply Arrangement. And that continues to be um, a very popular part of the business. We also have the expectation of, of stable quota returns, and uh, that's certainly, I think, uh, a, a realistic perspective in this market and in future markets. So we've got some way to go there, but um, 
we remain very positive about the opportunity here and the prospects for improvement. Um, so just before you, I, on, yes. uh, Hill or. Thank, thank you, Rob. And I'll um, obviously we're five months into this current year, so I just want to acknowledge um, one uh, up to 30 June uh, some some big turnarounds, but also uh, we had the Pataka Ika uh, distribution during Level Three COVID and the current year. So sometimes you want to celebrate some of the things you're doing now, but the annual reports based up to 30 June, of course. But uh, just want to acknowledge the Fano and the team and the Hapu, uh, and it's in our annual report. Uh, around the direction that we intend to take around finding how yeah, we can utilise Pātaka Ika. Kia ora. Just on to my last slide. Uh, kia ora, can, uh, can all our viewers please mute? Yeah, hope it's a healthy kite. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so talking about kai, uh my last slide is uh, Pakehiro Farms. Um, and, uh, and, and for those of you that are also involved in farming, you all know it's not for the faint hearted. So I just want to acknowledge our Pakehiro board and also Hilton Collie, our GM Farms. Uh, it's been a hard year, uh, not just impacted by COVID, but uh, a severe drought on the coast and, um, and and it's been hard work but in saying that I think when you can when you can still make money it's a little bit of money but when you can still make money and grow your business in a really hard farming year it's a pretty good sign of a good system so so we want to acknowledge that and um, and we've got some plans that are kicking off at the moment Rob, Rob will touch on some of the strategies and the future direction in our current year of which we're five months through um, to to really assist and work with Pakehiro board and the community to do great things up there. Um, lastly, before I hand back to, to Sir Rob, just want to acknowledge our board and um, thank you for the support to management and our whole co-management as well. Uh, they work tirelessly for you um, and diligently and, and, uh, and we always put the 90,000 uh, Ngāti Pro Fano at the forefront of our minds when we make decisions. So, uh, kia ora, kia ora koutou. So the, the last segment of the business that um, that's, are in the slides, and it's uh, by no means the least important, and indeed it's the biggest segment in terms of asset value, is the funds management um, segment. Um, there's been quite a, uh, a, a big number of changes gone on in the last 12 months in this area. But first, as I mentioned uh, in my opening remarks, the fund has performed very well uh, with a 7.9% uh, five-year performance against a 7.6% target. So it's exceeded uh, expectations in that regard. Um, there's been two major changes this year. One is that we're in the middle of a, we've been in the middle of a SIPO review. A SIPO is the Statement of Investment Purpose and Objective. So it's a very important document that tells you which assets to invest in, what returns to target, uh, which uh, agents to assist us in the management of the funds and that kind of thing. So a very comprehensive document which we work through with the Runanga and other stakeholders in our organisation before we finally land that. Um, we also made a change uh, from Cambridge Consulting, uh, who were our investment advisors, to a new appointed a set of advisors um, in this uh, calendar year uh, called My Fiduciary. Um, and uh, we believe that's very appropriate. You probably get the sense that uh, market conditions are changing radically in the world and um, interest rates, for example, as we all know, are, are going up and, uh, and that has huge impact on this fund. So, for example, there's been a lot of bond assets in this fund and when interest rates rise, bonds don't do very well, um, which is a bit counterintuitive. But the reason that is, is because people have got their money at lower interest rates because they invested earlier. So that's why they don't want to be in those bonds. So the bond prices fall when the interest rates rise. And so that's an example of, uh, of what we have to be adept, we have to be agile, and we have to be on onto it um, as these things unfold. Um, so that's, uh, that's, that's sort of the important um, business segment that I'll just close my remarks on before I then pass on to the looking ahead um, uh, type uh, uh, points. So, 
Um, we've got a number of strategies in development um, this coming year, uh, many of them uh, very well underway. Um, they, they take place really um, within the parameters of the SIPO. Um, it's, it's fair to say that, broadly speaking, you know, we're interested in moving more into direct investment, is what we call it, um, as opposed to listed securities. Um, most, the bulk of our assets um, are in listed securities, which is hands-off, passive uh, investment, and uh, we, we believe the returns are better and it's more suited for Ngāti Parau if we move that more in the direction of direct investment uh, which also brings with it the potential to invest in the law here a little more from these funds as opposed to investing um, globally or uh, in Australasia, so to speak. Um, the uh, Manuka extraction facility, as I mentioned earlier, should be open, is planned to be open early next year. Um, and so that, that's important. And we've got some exciting new investment opportunities that we're currently working on. Uh, right now, um, and, uh, and, and they are exciting and, and, and very opportun opportunity providing. There's an underlying strategic theme, which you may also be aware of, which we call Tahuna Te Ahi, which is really something that, uh, that George uh, touched on earlier in his presentation, that it's not, it's not just the profit that we're maximising. Businesses, when they maximise their profits, actually also are maximising the wages to employees, uh, the returns to investors and, and all of the various stakeholders that go to make up the business, they also are able to share in, in the results over and above the profit that the shareholder is making. So that's the way I would best explain uh, the concept of tahuna te ahi. So that's uppermost in our mind, um, and that's, I think, a very significant role that the uh, holding company is playing. So with those, um, those closing uh, remarks on the business, I also would just like to finish off by acknowledging our stakeholders and um, Shane and his team as the executive have done a sterling uh, year. You can see that speaks for itself in the results. It's possibly the best uh, uplift in financial results that we've ever had in the holding company through its life. So well done to Shane and his team. Um, and obviously the shareholder and the other stakeholders within our organisation have all played their part. So I take this opportunity to thank them as well and uh, thank you all for listening uh, to this exciting story about your holding company. With us, Sir Robert McLeod, we are the Te Amana o Te Ngāti Pru Holdingo. Tēnā, tēnā koe, o tira tēnā koutou e tia haere nei i ngā pūta, i ngā rawa, kei raro i te maru o hōkau. Mōhe tonu au, Uh, he nui ngā waiata i roto i ngā tau e hāngai ana ki te ki ngā mahi pīni i ngā kaipāki ko Big Ben tētahi mo te ahotanga o, o uh, fishu, um, cheering and uh, the cream song back in the, in the heyday when we were most of our families were e kūte te kauana we are no um, um, Egg, you got a, a question that you want to ask, or or you want to give an accolade? <laughs> Kia ora, thank you. Um, good part I So, uh, Pohewa was a, uh, a tech design company for us. Um, we used it to uh, do all of our design in terms of our business digital visual designs and it wasn't working as well as we thought and it became a little bit of a distraction so we decided we'd um, we'd turn it off and that's why you've seen the numbers reduce and uh, you'll probably see a zero next year. Uh, Tohe Taka is the company that we've used to uh, engage with the Crown to receive part of the PGF loan or receive the PGF loan to build the honey extraction facility. So we've created that entity in order to, um, you know, hold that on its own and therefore uh, minimise any any risk or other other come back into the holding company proper. So it's so that that puts a ring fence around the honey extraction facility of which we're working with Pohutu to build that on their whenua, and um, and that sort of separates it out from the rest of the group. Kapai, kia ora.
ko te āhua nei, a kuni ka rongo i te ripo ata mō te piuta nā mā wei okay. pānapa. Suffice to say, those were two songs. We won't sing them, but we'll, <laughs> we'll move on to the um, next item on our agenda, uh, the Ngāti Pro Hauora Report, and I'll pass that back to George. <laughs> Kia ora again. Um, the just big overview here, I'm not going to do a detailed um, description, mainly because I wasn't part of the, the team last year who did all the mahi, but ac uh, acknowledge all of their, their work in this space. It's almost impossible to have an AGM at the moment without acknowledging that COVID-19 um, impacts on everything we do. As the chairman's already indicated, though, Ngāti Pro Hauora have gone above and beyond in terms of the mahi in our communities, um, and they still do. Uh, I think the, I think it was Edna yesterday asked on the radio to um, Carol Lee, what's the best thing we can do? The best thing we can do is encourage our whānau to get vaccinated. So if you guys have any um, influence, please do so. Um, we all know that COVID is slowly making its way down the country and at some point in the near future it's going to arrive here. The only way we're going to be in a reasonable chance of surviving the impact of it is to have most of our whānau vaccinated. So please do that. Um, just in terms of that, I highlighted the um, Ngāti Pro Ho order has done 12,500 people in the last few months. Kāpai then. Kia ora. In terms of its, um, its day job, Ngāti Pro Ho orders, uh, in terms of its nurse visits and everything else, you can see it's doing great work. 23,000 um, GP visits, nurse visits 30,000. There's obviously a lot of unwell people around. So you add the two numbers together, you know, you're up around the 50, over 50,000 visits a year just going in to see it. And we've generally only got about 9,000 patients on our roll. So that's quite a few visits. But anyway, they are busy, and you can see the makeup of that. The um, infographics are in the, in the AGM, uh, in the annual report. So if you have a look in there, by all means, come back and ask any questions. Highlights, fifth year in a row, the, the team have um, made a net surplus. It's not a large surplus, but it is a net surplus. It means that they're able to um, keep the lights on and keep doing the work that they're doing. It, is, it has been a difficult um, slog for them over the years. I've got to say that I think they have been underfunded, but that's a, you know, we're taking that issue up now with the government and with the local whole order. So, all of those things are coming coming to roost. Um, research projects, there's 10 of those in play, and we've got a really good team in uh, collaborations around Mahi Atu Trust, Ngāti for Life, and Hapai Te Ora. So whānau supported in the Hiningaro space, 290, and the contacts there, over 3,500. Just in the corner there, you can see our we're still uh, doing our mahi in terms of having baby on the coast, so kapai. Keep going. <laughs> um, oh, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we won't go to that one. Um, <laughs> the Hiringa Matua, uh, I guess one of the highlights of our uh, service model, looking after our um, uh, four-year pilot. So we're starting to work into prevention and all the other stuff, mental health. Alcohol and addictions, if you see AOD, that's what that means. Just find no support. Oh, well, we'll make it as short as that, shall we? Um, <laughs> thank you for your attention. Kia ora. Kia ora, George. Ready with the report of the Hauora Ngāti Pura. And thank you, the users of our health services. Koutou e pai pai nā o taringa. Of 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 I too. I've just been corrected. User owners of of our health services. So um, yeah, we continue to uh, 
well, to be hot off the press, we had a, mini a meeting with the Associate Minister of Health at Ngāti Pro Hauora in Tipuia yesterday. And um, just as an interlude, um, at 12 o'clock, an a group of aeroplanes will be landing at uh, the Ruatoria International Airport. <laughs> um, they have the names of all our tipuna uh, papa who went to the Second World War on the planes, and uh, they are, the Ngāti Paroho order is at the aerodrome at this point in time, ready to um, vaccinate or a second vaccination um, for all those descendants of our papa that went over to the war in 19, from 1939 to 1945. Now they'll be at Rotoria at 10 o'clock, at 12 o'clock. No, sorry, they were there at 10 o'clock. They're still there now, then they're flying to um, the aerodrome in Tararua, at 3 o'clock in Tararua, and then they're going to uh, Uawa uh, in Hawiti. So just in our little tribal area, vast tribal area, we have three international airports. And I'm referring to them as international because Ngati Pro, the, ma the majority of Ngati Pro live out of Ngati Pro. So there's another avenue to come into Ngati Pro through our airways. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so thank you very much. Now we'll move on to the um, uh, group financials and I'll pass th this uh, part over to uh, Wayne Panapa, who was the Chief Ed Financial Ed Officer and the acting uh, CEO at the time of this report. He has now moved over to Holco and he is working with the team and Ngati Pro Hauora. So thank you. Oh, Ngati Pro. Oh, well, to uh, Holco. We all Hauora. Kapai. Thank you, Wayne. Tēnā koe Selwyn, a tēnā tātou Ngāti Pro. Um, just, uh, I suppose, as a segue into um, Hauora, I uh, apologise for my attempt at a moustache, but it's for a good kaupapa. Um, so <laughs> as things have got, got it wider over the, over the, through the waistline over the last four years, I presented this report, I thought, take the focus somewhere else, so hence the reason for the moustache, but kia ora tātou. Um, Anei te whakatōputanga o ngā puta uh, mō te runanga nui o Ngāti Pro. We've heard the, the kōrero given, and so I, as the CFO, uh, I feel privileged to be have, able to uh, present uh, the efforts of our hauora, the efforts of Toitū Ngāti Pro, the efforts of our whānau oranga, whānau order services, the efforts of our holding company, commercial activities, um, and to be able to as has already been talked to through the presentations, speak to the net profit after tax for Te Runanga Nui of 24.1 million. To be able to advise that our group revenue of 57.74 million has increased from the previous year. To advise that our surplus from our commercial activities has increased from the previous year to 24.6 million. To advise that our group earnings before interest and tax has increased from the previous year of 24.5 million. And to advise that our group profit after we've paid our tax has increased 24.1 million. Kea koutou, Ngāti Parau, te hua pai o ngā mahi, mō ngā kai mahi o te runanga nui o Ngāti Parau, horapa. The number that I'm most proud of in terms of presenting today is to advise Ngāti Pro that your group total assets before and after you remove the debt component has both, in, both increased. In terms of group total assets, 286 million. From the time when I started, there has been a constant increase in our asset base. Sir Rob McLeod talked about Asset base gives you the opportunity to do great things and great things are being done. 
people are focused through good strategy, partnering, uh, whether it be through government contracts, commercial contracts, uh, and activities. Great work has been done. Good decisions have been made as the stewards of the Ngāti Pro asset base. I do not have the number in front of me from the time of settlement to now, but if you look within the slide deck, within the uh, annual report, there has been consistent increases. And koe rata naku o te kōrero, hei te piki haere taua nama, taua whairawa. Good partners, good friends. So from that settlement position, 121 million to 286 million. That is the number that you should all report yourselves for. The financial performance, again, it talks to those activities within the 12 month period from the work that we, we've done as a group collectively. 57 million uh, in revenue that has been generated through commercial contracts, commercial activities, contracts with government um, that our whānau ora, whānau oranga services provide, that our hauora provide. Uh, we've seen expenses of 33 million to an e EBIT earnings before interest and tax of 24 million and interest expense from those areas which we have used debt because debt has been a, a cheaper, a better option within that period of 239,000 to net profit before tax of 24.3, tax of 196,000 and net profit of 21, 24.1. Um, those are the numbers as they read. Those are the audited financial statements which have been, uh, which have been undertaken by our auditors to present that number um, to you today. And again, if I move on to the next slide, which as the CFO, I see it, uh, I mentioned earlier, this, this, is the, this is the area of the report that I'm most proud of, proud to have say, s said in my time as the CFO uh, that I have been able to support and contribute to the continual growth of our asset base for Ngāti Pārau. So from 2017, we saw total assets of 232 million, total liabilities of 20 million, and total equity, which is basically the assets less the liabilities of 211 million, to the audited financial results as at the 30th of June 2021, total assets of 286 million, total liabilities of 29 million, total equity 256 million. For my first re first report, uh, where I presented the financials uh, at um, up in Uawa, and made the statement "cash is king," so we move on to our group cash flow report. We're in presenting the group cash flow position. Uh, the group can state that we derived net cash flows of 6.5 million, and you will find this on page uh, 50 of the annual report, compared to 2.9 million in the previous year. How we achieved that through key, three key areas. Our operating activities had positive cash flows of 4.8 million compared to 230,000 of the previous year. We had 1.8 million of positive cash flows within our investing activities compared to 3.3 .3 in the previous year. And then the financing activities one, it looks a bit funny, but what that's telling us is that's the, 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 the funds that we've had to use within that year to be allow us to, to, to top up or do the things we need to do. So within the year, we had 248,000 in financing activities uh, as a cash flow number compared to the previous year. But overall, we had group net cash flows positive of 6.5 million. So in summary, net profit increased compared to the previous year. Revenue increased compared to the previous year. Expenses decreased compared to the previous year. Net cash flows from positive activities 
were positive compared to the previous year. Our total asset base increased compared to the previous year, and our total equity increased to the previous year. Mena he pātai, pātai mai. Koe rata whakatōpū tango ngā piuta, ko te tau 2020, mā tahi ko te kaikoro ko Wayne Pānapa. I tēnei wā ki te tuku pātai. Yep. Uh, just in closing, I just want to acknowledge um, the board uh, for their support, guidance and direction given to me as the CFO. Um, I want to acknowledge all my, um, all the managers that I've, I've had the privilege of working uh, with uh, from all parts of the Ngāti Pro group. Uh, and I want to acknowledge um, the Chief Financial Services team, the Corporate Services team that have supported me in my time as CFO. No later. Is anybody prepared to move the presentation of the annual report and audited consolidated financial statements for the Ngati Pro Group for the 2021 income year as presented uh, by? the team today. I'd sooner, rather than a trustee, I'd sooner one of the... Jeng, Jeng, Arimu, anyone else? Moana, Moana Hukama. Are there any questions, any, any discussion? I'll, I'll put that motion. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. Those who have a differing opinion, um, please say that. <laughs> and I'm going to wait for a little while because um, people on the Zoom will have the opportunity to say aye or kaore. So we'll wait for a little while and see where that comes. I'll just ask everybody to stand up and turn around and have a shake and say, you still look beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ai, e mā te motuhunga kai kona i kai te tini o porau, kai te hofaiwa a mā tau te, te toro toro, ko wetahi kai te oh, hare ki te wahi kaputi, paku wā whakataia mā tau i whangana ki te hunga kohono mai a mā te zoom. Kā re e tino roa ko mutu te hui, e hea ngā kaupapa kai te toi, e rua pea ngā kaupapa kai te toi, ko te rautaki mō ngā tau e rima, uh, me te whakamana i te ōrata mō te tau kei te heke mai uh, ka mutu ko ngā kōrero nō no te wā. Koe nō re te iwi, kei te whakarongo mai koutou kei te mana wapā tuki tuku te iwi, kei te reo irirei ngā ngāti pro kei kone, kei puhi kai te i, kei te tini o porau, mō tēnei hui, mō tūhake, mō tēnei tau, te hui ātou mō te rūnanga nui ngāti pro, rua mano, rua te kau mātahi. Hoi anō rā, koe nei te āhuatanga te hui tēnei tau mā te Zoom, uh, mata waia, mata hangaro wa ta pākea, a me pai huki anō tēnā. Ai, he āhua tanga tau hau, engari ai, runga i ngā āhua tanga o te wā, kā re tā e te pēhia, engari mea ngā whakamua tonu ni. Koera, koera te āhua tanga i tēnei wana, koera hoki te tahi pāinga i puta mai i te mate korona, uh, ki a whai wāhi atu ai tātou ki te hui anō, aha koa, mai tāwhiti, mai tata rānei, ko te mea nui, me haere tonu ngā hui. Ai, ai, tērā pea i rungo koutou i te... Ia tā Rob McLeod e kōrero ana a, takurongo na Māwako Kingston i, I whakararu i, I ana kōrero ne. Hai, <laughs> I, I, kei konei Māwako e kōrero ana heka ko, ko Māwako kei tara rūraru. Heka mā. <laughs> Ahoi anō, ko te mea pai a karongo nei ngā kōrero mo ngā ati prau hold kau me a rātou nei mahi. Me tā nā te tuku poroporo aki ki a... Kia wili kā, hui mm. e tērā e whakapau tōna kaha ki te hāpai aki tērā kaupapa i mate atu te tīmatatanga mai o tēnei tau.
Aite na iwa kai te tātari tonu mō ngā tāngata kai te zū. Aite tahi wāhanga te kōru, ka rongo e tahi o rātau i kōru ana i runga te zū. Me te kōru rona i a Shane Walker me, me mute, me whakapu, mutu te kōru rō. Koe na te tahi o ngā raru raru o te zū. Ana ka whakahari hia ngā, ngā hui mā te zū. Kāre koe mōhio, kāre nō ki a zū. Hei, kei te rongo te katoa i tō kōru rō. <laughs> Ai, kei te ako tonu, tonu mā tau me, me aha, me pēhia, runga i wenei, hangarau a te, a te pākeha ne. Ahoi anora, kei te tūtū haere te iwi, kei te kōru rō rero, uh, kei te haere etahi ki waho. Ko e tahi kei te, kei te kōro ki o rātou nei whanau ngā noho ki. Ko e anore he rangi pai te rangi nei, he a tāhua o waho. Engari, ko te wairo o roto te whare, he a tāhua noho ki ki a rātou mā ko tai mai a tīnana nei ki tō tātou nei hui ātou. Ai, taku mōhi o, e harai te mea tokomaha rawa kei, kei roto i tēnei rūma. Engari, ki taku mōhi o, a, he rūma ano a, ki, ki tēnei whare ko whakakia ki ngā, ki ngā kaimahi o o te runanga nui o Ngāti Purau, te runga o Nuku Tere. Uh, ai, anō hoki, uh, ko wera, ko hono mai mā te ipurangi, mā te Zoom, ki tēnei o ngā hui. Aha, ko he, he me tauhau tēnei hui, tēnei tau, ka kiti atu e tahi o ngā kanohi, e kaha nei ki te tai tai atu ki ngā hui atau, i atau, i atau, i atau mm. i tēnei wā, a kei ko nei hoki, ko e tahi o rātou ko ngā pake ki tonu, ko tai mai. Ko e anora kei te hoki hoki mai e tahi o te iwi, uh, ki roto i tō tātou nei whare. Ko rongo nei ngā kōra George Reedy mo ngā, ngā tari o te runanga nui, kei te whakahaungi e tahi wāhanga o te tini o porau, me te mea pai a whakatūria he whare e hou ki rua tōria mo te runanga nui o ngā tīprau. Ka mutu uh, he mea pai tērā i te me kōkroa haere tērā whare. O, te āhua nei, kei te hoki hoki mai uh, te nui ngā O tō tātou iwi ki roto ki tēnei o ngā whare. O kaore, kei te rere tonu ngā kōrero. Tō i pai tērā. Kei runga i te, te matanui ko te ingo a Dean, Dean Mona. Tēnā pē kei āia he kōrero. Kei te karangatu te heruini ki te iwi ki te hoki hoki mai. <laughs> Pai hoki te whareipuata a, a Patrick Tangaere, he poto, engari, he hua, kei roto i tērā kōrero. Mena, he poto ngā ripuata, ka wawe te o te te hui. Hoi anore te iwi, ka rongo nei te whare ko āhua tau nei, a, a kuri pēra ka tīmata mai a tīn mōna ki te kōrero mo tāna kaupapa. Ka reo nō ke, ki te hea tāna kaupapa, engari, ko rere ke te, te agenda e tūkuna mai, he rere ke te whakahari o te agenda. Hei, wī, wī, kei wā, wā, e tahi wā. Oi anō, au ātū, kei te moe o tīm mōna hea tāna kaupapa. <laughs> Ai, kare a pātū he kaupapa nui ne. Oi anō re te iwi, kei te mihi atu ki a rātou mā ngā, ngā waka rere rangi, ko rere haere tō tātou nei rohe i tēnei wā, te kawe haere ngā ingoa ngā pāpa, i ngā tīpu nei haere ki te pakanga tuaru o te ao. Ai, ai ki ngā kōrero a Takumatua Anko Sowen, ai kei, kei e... Toru ngā international airports. International airports o Ngāti Parau, <laughs> kā wudui. O tētahi kei te araro, tētahi kei rua tōri, tētahi kei uawa. Oh, oh. Kā mai te ringi. Kā mutu pea. <laughs> Hoi anora, ka rongo nei ngā kōraro mō Ngāti Parau hauora. Uh, aha koa he, koa pāngi te mate COVID. Uh, ko te mea nui kei te ora tunu rātou i rotu i wānatou nei mahi. Uh, e mahi nei mo te iwi. Ko te tino kaupapa kei te kōkiri tia i tēnei wā, ko te werohanga mo te mate krauna. Ai, mena ka, ka wai mari e koe ka taia tū ki tētahi o ngā international airports i tēnei rā. Uh, ko te kōrero uh, kei, kei reira te tīma o Ngāti Purau haora e mahi ana i ngā werohanga uh, kanoara e kia nei ngā COVID-19 vaccinations. Oh, Ka tai atu ki te aroroa te tore o ngā haori tēnei ahi ahi, ka mutu ki uawa. Koe anora kei te aki aki te tia mana uh, ki te tīmata mai anō te kaupapa o te hui. Koe anora ko te kaupapa kei te haramai pea, ko te rautaki whakamua, ai, ko te rautaki whakamua, uh, mo te tau kei te heke mai, mā George Reedy tērā e kōrero, uh, ka mutu tērā ko te whakarite i te ōrata, te, kau, te kātaitari piuta, mo te tau kei te eke mai kā mutu ko te general business.
Tēnā pē ka hoki atu ki te tēpū. Kia ora tātou. Are we back online? Yes. Okay. Kia ora. The annual report and annual financials have been um, approved um, that we've taken into consideration our relations that are on Zoom and um, us that are here. And I'd just like to invite us to move to item six on the agenda, which is the um, reappointment of our auditors, but we've got the auditors on We've got the auditors online, and I'll pass it over them to them to make some comments. Or I'll pass back to Wayne. Kia ora tato. Um, so the auditors that were appointed for the 2021 year were Price Waterhouse Coopers. The audit partner uh, is John Dixon. John Dixon and um, the audit lead uh, Scott McPhail. Um, are, are available to take any questions. Um, if there are questions from uh, those in attendance today or online, um, and if it's if John is able to um, base, introduce himself, uh, that would be, uh, I think, good to do. Kia ora, John. Kia ora koutou katoa. Ko te mata o Rangakako te mona. Ko tuki tuki te awa, inoho ano ki Mangarua hau, ko John Dixon toko ingoa, norera ki ora kato katoa. Kia ora, John. Good morning, everyone. And uh, this is our first year of, as auditors. Uh, it has been an honour to um, be part of the team. Um, we've had a, an excellent audit process and. Um, Obviously, uh, it's gone particularly well and great to see the advancement of Ngāti Pro in the current year. Kia ora. Thank you, John. Do you, oh, are there any questions for the auditors? I'd like to thank the auditors, and is anybody uh, prepared to move that Price Waterhouse Coopers be reappointed as external auditors for the Ngati Pro Group for the 2021-22 financial year? Thank you, Jay. The seconder. Oh, um, Lloyd. Lloyd Donnelly. Um, all those in favour, please say aye. aye. To the contrary. Um, I will wait a little while for our whanau that are zooming in. And, uh, oh, goodbye. Okay. We've said fine so far. Um, just just to let us know, there have been uh, uh, a number of questions um, from our whanaunga that are on the Zoom. Um, we've gone back to them, uh, emailed back to them that uh, their questions will be answered by uh, staff um, because a lot of them are pertaining to operational and, um, and technical. So. Um, that's how we're going to uh, respond to those. Um, but there are some uh, asking and uh, for us uh, about the power wars. The power wars for 2022 have been cancelled. Um, so there won't be any power wars this year. And also the dawn ceremony on Hikurangi um, due to the nature of what's happening amongst our, us at the moment. So no power wars in 2022 and no dawn ceremony. Um, 
Sauria, so, yeah, can have a bit of a whakapā, uh, you have a chat with each other, and um, kia ora. Um, there's, there was, there's been a question about um, who, where do uh, those that are interested in um, housing um, get support to be land ready? Um, we've gone back to those people that have asked that question to uh, make contact uh, with Te Runanga Nuiong Ati Pro, and um, we'll, we'll take it from there. So there also been a, a, a question about the real strategy and marae insurance, um, and we'll get back to uh, the people that asked about those. Um, also, uh, we have an apology from uh, Kushla and Val. Val, the chairman of the Ngati Pro East Coast Rugby Union, and Kushla is the CEO. Uh, she has... Um <laughs> Kushla has resigned and she's moving on to another journey. So I'd just like to, um, to thank her for her sterling leadership of Ngati Pro <laughs> East Coast <laughs> Rugby Union and wish her well in her um, endeavors. And uh, yeah, and I'd also like to thank the Ngati Pro East Coast Rugby Union uh, for this, uh, this season, especially our team, our coach. And uh, yeah, we've had a a great year and looking forward to a better year next year. Um, we'll move on to the next, oh, we'll go back to our agenda item, uh, the strategic plan update, and I'll pass that over to George. Oh, can you roll the slide for me, please? Not that it'll ha make much difference. Kia ora, everybody. This is the, uh, the whole presentation for this part of it. I think it's more of a bringing all the strands together. The, so the five um, po in this one, Fano, Rangatira, Mato Ranga, Fairawa, and Kaitiaki, are just uh, reporting back on the strategic plan. So we know our Fano area. We've talked about the well-being, health, and Fano Oranga services. So I, that's been covered off. Rangatira is around our Tomata, um, Mano Fenua. Uh, the work that's going on in that space, we've covered it in there. Matauranga is part of the bigger Toy 2 uh, strategy, education, and areas under that, we've covered off there. Whairawa, we've heard the um, sterling efforts of our uh, Whairawa group, so I'm going to say that that's been covered off. And Kaitiaki, we've, it's our Taiao environment, Raukumara, Takutai, I just want to report back that I think probably we've covered as much as we need to in this space. Kapai? Kia ora. Thank you. I'll hand back to us. Thank you, uh, George. And thank you. Um, I'd just like to, uh, before, we oh, no, we we'll go to general business now. And uh, is there any general business? Egg. Oh, kia ora whanau. Sorry about that. I just firstly wanted to thank the Runanga for the, the breadth and the extent that the, of the business that uh, we have to cover. Um, but one of the things I wanted to take the opportunity to discuss was really just to talk around the importance of the three waters and the environmental space. And I especially want to pay tribute and thank Hikurangi Takiwa for their activity on the resource consent application that was heard as the first um, consent under the RMA this week here in this room. So Miss Kate and Pia and the whānau at Hikurangi Takiwa, I think you guys have done an awesome job in actually positioning ourselves as hapu in all of these statutory processes. I am really concerned around the three waters and essentially for us as whānau, 
The Act does not really guarantee us the quality drinking water because we are not on town supply. So the Crown has put into place an Act of Parliament that essentially excludes about 10% of the population because we are not provided water. And, you know, like on our marae and our... F like if you take Kariaka Pa, we get our water from a, up behind us and so do however many of other whānau are in the same place. So essentially people are going to become um, legally responsible for the provisioning of water. So uh, this is not actually just a conversation to the Dunanga, this is a conversation to ourselves and how important it is for us to engage around those issues like the three waters. So kia ora whānau. Thank you, Egg. Yeah, he's got a talk order. Oh. Oh, it's in response to that. Yes, I, 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 I make the only difference in terms of town because it still stay, should still stay together in in the unity of the three waters because we've always had a clash with them one way or another, whether we're, um, you know, um, Ngāti or, 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 or not. We've always had this conflict of them with waters with the three waters. Anyway, I'd just like to say thank you, to change the subject a bit, um, that uh, I'd like to thank you that I'm now living over here in the Komatua Flats. Uh, I'm not quite sure how or come I got there, but I'm there now, so I'd like to thank you for that. But there's a lot of tucky that I'd like to moan about, but I sort of thought that I'd like to put my hand up to come to one of your meetings to discuss lots of things because of the um, profits that's, that, that we've achieved here and that the refurbishment of this place is, is um, appropriate to, to, to put this money to, um, especially the roof because it leaks heaps. <laughs> I'll just leave it there and I hope that all the old furniture that we have here, it can be restored somewhere because it's very beautiful. Thank you, Kazi. You're here, so um, you see the CEO, he's down this end of the building. I, I think you can make some time to have a chat with him. And he's got good ears. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Are there any other general business? Any general business online? Well, I'll thank everybody for a, a, a wonderful um, AGM. Oi, no ra te iwi ko te ahu nei ko tai ki te mutu nga te hui a tau mo te tauru a mano rua te kau matahi. Te na pe kai te tia mana i te hi ko roa hi paka kapiaki. I just like to um, I just like to thank everybody that's been working hard. And when I say everybody, I'm talking about Tato Ngati Pro. Uh, to Tato Puari, um, O Tato Puari, O Tato Kaimahi, Meo Rato Fano, Tato Huki Kiakoto Ngati Pro, E Takatune Kiroto Yoko to Kainga. Kote, kote, kote mana wanui nei, uh, he waha iene kaupapa ke kaya koutou kei roto yo tātou whānau. Nei te mahi, mana ki tia, tia kei na tātou ya tātou, kia whaiwhakaaro tātou, tētahi ki tētahi, uh, mana ki tia, ya tātou e anga whakamua nei, a i roto i ngā ahotanga kei, kei mui ya tātou. Nā reira, anō te ātāhua te noho tahitanga o ngā tāina me ngā tuākana, i raro te whakaaro ko tahi, ko tātou tēnei kei ko nei kei te tini o porau, a ko koutou e pae pae nei, i runga i ia te rangi tāwaia, a tāutu huki koutou e whakarongo mai nei ki te taonga ati iwi ki te reo i rirangi o Ngāti Purau. Nā reira, mihi ana ki anga te reo i rirangi o Ngāti Purau, e pāho nei ngā kororo ki ngā tōpito o te ao. Nā reira, e te iwi tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou, kia ora tātou katoa, Ka tukuna te rākau ki tāku tuakana kia Patrick, māne whakakopi tā tātou hui. And you need to come and get the mic, brother. Uh, 
Akeino i tātou e pā e tō mātou matu a atawhai e noho mai nā i te rangi. I tīmatata mātou hui runga i te ngākau whakamoe me tiki a koe. He tika kia whakautia no te nei hui runga i te whakamoe me tiki a koe. Ka hino e tu nei ki a koe ki a tau tonu au atawhai ngā ki runga kia mātou. Kia mātou e noho nei o ti rā te hunga e whakarongo mai nā i o rātou kāinga. Tuko homa i au āna hera hei āra hei ia mātou i runga i tu huarai. Kia taipa e tu mātou ki o mātou a ke kāinga. Me te ino e noho ki kia koe e pā ki a tau au atawhainga ki runga kia mātou e whakatata tu nei ki te wā mau maharake ai i whānau mei tāu tama hei kai whakora mō mātou. Ka whakamoe me tia noho ki mātou ki a koe e i hoa mō ene kai kai waho te tatau mā mātou. Whakapaingi a e koe a mātou kai, hei oranga mō o mātou tīnana. Whangai anō hoki o mātou wairua ki te taro te ora, ko i hukraiti hoki tō mātou kai whakora, kurori ki tō ingoa tapu. Āmine. Koe nō re tīwi, koe nei te mutunga o te hui, a tau mo te rūranga nui o Rāti Porau, mo te enei tau rua manoru o te kau mātahi. Ai, e mehi ana ki te rūnanga nui o ngā tipurau me a rātou tini kaupapa mō tēnei tau o tira kia koutou i hono mai ki tēnei whakapau hōtanga e hika mā ngā mehi nui kia koutou katoa. Oia nō rai hika mā, koe hiki nga te hui mō tēnei tau, tēnei mātou tari au irirai ngā tipurau e mehi atu nei kia koutou. Nō rai reko Kingston Kupa wau, tētahi o ngā kai whakapaho tēnei rā. Ai, ko riria Dalton Reedy a hau, ai, wehi ana i te tūru pāpaho i tēnei wai hika mā, hei ko nei, hei ko nei. Nā mauri ora, kia tātou, katoa. Kia ora tātou.